hey guys welcome back today we're at the waypoint ranch and i think this is going to be one of our favorite videos we've yeah. ever done um we've been out here a few times it's been a couple of years since we've been out here yeah. and uh, we did some volunteer work out here with the uh, combat vets motorcycle association and now we're back we're back because um we're starting this new uh, video series rving for vets and uh, we just t talked about for the past couple weeks that uh, we've expanded our um our contributions yeah. uh, from our Patreon, which was 10% of everything we earned on Patreon, to go toward vets. We expand that to all of our platforms, and uh, we're kind of, we're kind of, <laughs> we're gonna break the rules today. We uh, every now and then you gotta break. The gotta rules. break the rules because they were made to be broke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we said 10% of everything that we made across all of our all of our platforms, but we've only been at this. We've been on YouTube for over a year but we just recently within the last couple of months been monetized yeah and we just launched our patreon a couple of months ago so we're just getting started so we've only total we've only made about 300 bucks so 10 percent of that would not be very much but we're out here today and we love this place and we love she's, the people that run it stephanie's very near and dear yeah she's got good little, people she's got a spot in our heart so. she doesn't know it yet <laughs> but we're going to show you later in the video so stick around we are going to take everything that we've earned so far it was actually almost $300 that yeah. we've earned. We're going to round it up to $300 and we're going to donate $300 to the Waypoint Ranch uh, to support the Peace at Home project. Stick around toward the end because Stephanie has no idea that we are going to donate any money to the organization. But we're super excited to be able to do it. And Feels good. Yeah. And after this, we'll go back to the 10% rule. Yeah. 10% of everything we make from this point forward will go to veterans. But we wanted to, we wanted to start it off. We wanted to start it off good. Um, so I feel like that's a and good not a no better person to do it for exactly Yeah, so um, we'll show you some of the ranch. We'll talk with Stephanie a little bit. We'll show you some of the horses uh, Show you around a little bit. I can't fly the drone Too close to an airport. We're less than a mile from an airport here I had no idea that was yeah. the case, but we are so I can't fly the drone because of my DJ DJI app uh, through the FAA I'm sure there's a way around it and that if I would have researched, if I'd have known, no, then I could have researched to how to how to Bypass turn that, that off or whatever. I would have, but I just don't really have time to do it right now. Yeah. And the storm's, the storm's rolling, rolling in, in, so um, not gonna be able to fly a drone. Man, I was hoping we could, but anyway, it's gonna be an awesome video. We can't wait to show you guys around the ranch, and we can't wait to give some money away. Yeah. So stick around. Here we go.
the uh, Waypoint Ranch out in Carrollton, Georgia um, with Stephanie, who runs the joint. So um, tell us a little bit about your background in military connection. Well, um, so I'm a Navy brat, um, mm -hmm. married into the Air Force. I like to say I'm married up. Yeah. <laughs> um, did 20 years in the Air Force and uh, my husband and I run this place basically to, to provide a location for veterans and their families to to come, decompress, find services. Um, really, we cater to whatever their needs are. Cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about like details, intricacies of what a, a, a day in the life of what happens on the ranch. <laughs> if there is a day in life. I know things change from yeah. day to day and I know you guys are prepping for a yeah. lot of things in the future, but um, if, if if I were a veteran who came out here seeking help, what would be the next step? What would happen? Yeah, so if you rolled up in the driveway today, you would um, find uh, one day a week we have a veteran service officer here. He's a Vietnam veteran. Okay. He does benefits. He is very strong. Uh, yeah, very Willie. Sweet. Willie. Yeah. Willie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> He, um, I have heard him on the phone with the VA numerous times. Ex-Marine? Ex-Marine, if dude. there is such a thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> always a Marine. <laughs> always a Marine. And so um, he's, he's really solid in yeah. working out benefits yeah. and helping bring people along to their willingness to, to start those benefits. We started, work, as we were working with guys, mostly guys, we have a handful of veteran women that we we've served. Okay, yeah. cool. And um, Marines. Get yeah. Marine heavy around here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what we started to realize that when we built this upstairs that we're sitting in, that that we really needed to meet the housing need, yeah. temporary yeah. transitional need for a place to be where number one you're safe, number two you're mm -hmm. understood, you can relax. We can start to create a map. Yeah, yeah. and fed. And fed. Yeah. You know, we like <laughs> to eat around. Yeah. Here. Food yeah. brings people together. So. <laughs> yeah. So a place where we could be, where where we could eat together, where yeah. we could be together, where we could work with horses together. Um, so we had to start some lodging. So we built this up here with the help of you guys. Yeah, we actually CDMA. we did some we did some help up here. So yeah. manual labor. Yeah. I'm not a manual labor kind of dude, no. but I did paint the ceiling. I got some footage of the ceiling because yeah. I'm really proud of the job that I did. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's probably not that great, but for me, it's kind it's of a big, big deal. It <laughs> looks really bad before you paint it. <laughs> Good. That yeah. makes me feel. Yeah. And all of this tongue and groove was put up. Yeah. Yes. yes. Huddleston. Yeah, yeah, these windows. These yeah. windows were here. installed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did all. So of now you work. can see out into the yep. into the arena there, which Remember is really cool. Remember, was doing plumbing. Yeah, yeah it was. It yeah. was a good yeah. day. That was fun. So tell me, uh, tell us a little bit of the backstory on what motivated you guys to do this in the first place. Um. Well, interestingly, so my own experience and my husband's experience was completely different. Yeah. So I was born into a Navy family. My dad was on a Navy sub. Mm -hmm. um, My dad did some time in the Navy. Too. Yeah. So the 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 the, say, the way it goes is, uh, your dad was never the same after he came home from yeah. Rota, Spain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I never really understood what happened in Rota, Spain. Uh, but he was exposed to radiation on the mm -hmm. sub in Rota, Spain. Oh, wow. So when he came home from Rota, Spain, everything started to unravel, yeah. and it just really imploded our family. Wow. Um, and. Uh, so, so first-hand experience. First-hand experience with traumatic my, injuries yeah. and PTSD. Yeah, and his dad was in World War II. And okay, my so mom, he had probably first-hand experiences yeah. of it also. Yeah. So it was a multi-generational yeah. thing, and wow. so. And eventually, if you if your family is exposed to that for generation to generation, it becomes genetic. That's correct. Yeah. And you, it's learned behavior then. Mm -hmm. That's right, and it's yeah. it, yep, it's in your DNA, and uh, so we started to really explore that concept and how we could really provide real help. To families knowing that that was in the background yeah. and it, it just gave me firsthand you know firsthand experience in my trying to figure out what created my story yeah. yeah and when I started really seeing my ancestry and how it tied into you know what really matters to me yeah it became really clear that it was a military ancestry story mm -hmm. wow. and then you know what we wanted to do was to give something back because my husband and I are still married, hey. right? Yeah. We're novices. Like, We're for, on our first marriage. For military, that's, 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 that's an anomaly. Experience. That's a unicorn. Yeah. yeah. I guess we've been married 20 years and it's Us too. It's crazy. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't happen very often. No. <laughs> it's hard. It's yeah. a tough life. Yeah. It takes a toll. It's hard enough not being military, the yeah. average right. couple, you know, staying together. But then when you throw a military in there, that makes yeah. it even harder. So that's why we wanted to do that. So we made it out alive, right? <laughs> and we were still intact and we wanted to retire. 
mm -hmm. um, and then sort of just take the, all those experiences and just hold a space and create a place that, that we can explore. How do you recover from that? First, you have to understand that it might be affecting you. Yeah. And then second, the traditional routes yeah. of medicine, medicine drugs, yeah. talk therapy, are not effective. Right. They're not really human friendly. Mm -hmm. I'll live so, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to do. We wanted to. So we. So we came here with the intention of doing that, and then we yeah. saw this place, and then I, I read that uh, Marcus Luttrell, lung survivor guy, was looking to expand his program, and, mm -hmm. I, and so that they could provide more services to military families. Okay. And I said, well, gosh, this place is perfect because next door there's this 8,000 square foot house. That's a nice and house. And it it's <laughs> it got like eight house. bedrooms, right? Yeah. So that could be a family retreat center. Exactly. So I contacted them, and they flew out here. Wow. Not Mr. Luttrell, yeah. but his program director. Yeah. And she flew out here, and we sat up here, up here in this space where there was nothing. nothing at the time. We had put a table, and we met, and um, so they decided not to buy this house. They built a multi-million dollar facility mm -hmm. in Houston. Wow. And uh, but they hired me and my and my mental health uh, partner as a team, and we started doing retreats. That's awesome. Yeah. And cool. then I was like, oh wow. It's it's crazy it's to see how things like this just. The, the stories of where they started from and yeah. now where they're at and now where, they, where they're going. You guys are are prepping for a lot of good stuff in the future. What yeah. kind of stuff are you guys prepping for in the future? Yeah. Well, you know, so we've got, we went from that day to where I went to work for Marcus Luttrell and saw what they were doing in their re retreat and recovery program to wanting to duplicate that here in a smaller scale. scale yeah. And then obviously realizing that we needed the housing, we needed a team of combat trained professionals. Yeah. So we started to build and put together and train and, and work within the community and we're five years old so wow. it's a slow it's really five years old. Yeah, wow. yeah. so it's kind of a slow it's a slow process unless a millionaire drops in your lap yeah yeah so nice. if you're a millionaire out there and you really yeah. want to help veterans in west georgia you should call me yeah. speaking of which how can people help how can people help uh, volunteerism yeah you know like you guys yeah. came out and volunteered and helped build this place you know volunteering is what is really important when we work together Awesome. Yeah. Veterinarian would yeah. be awesome. I yeah. need a new veterinarian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would be great. Um, so if anybody out there watching wants to help Waypoint Ranch, what can they do to help? If they live in Washington yeah. State or somewhere yeah. else. So there's there's plenty of, uh, so you can go to waypointranch.org. Uh, you can sign up for our newsletter. You can uh, get information. There's a volunteer connection page. You can say, hey, this is what I've got to offer. How can I help? Um, marketing and social media and sharing things is awesome. really big yeah, right now. Yeah. And we'll put um, links to, to your website in the yeah. description of the video and on all of our social media platforms. Right. Yeah. So if you guys want to help, uh, go to our, our webpage, mm -hmm. uh, waverywags.com. Or know somebody who can Or in the help. description. Yeah, or if you know yeah. somebody, share this video and maybe get the word out uh, to help uh, Wave, Wave my Ranch and, uh, and help other, any vets. If, if there's any vets in your, in your community that you want to help out, um, it's not just about one organization, but just that's right. Help a vet somewhere. Yeah. And do something. Get, it's get involved in your community. Find yeah. out what's going on in your community. Look for someone that's actually, you know, action oriented and getting some stuff done and then partner with them and yeah. get to work. Exactly. That's There's a the lot solution. of a lot of people out there that need help. Uh, I've mentioned this before on the channel, but twenty two veterans are killing themselves every day. Yeah. Because they need help. And organizations like Waypoint Ranch and the Peace of Home Project are, are helping vets. So we really appreciate that. So Let's say someone makes a donation to uh, to a Waypoint Ranch. What's it going to go toward? What are you going to use mm. the money for? Wow, it could immediately go toward a dozen different places. It yeah. could help uh, support our veteran service officer who works tirelessly creating benefits and, and resolving issues within the VA. Um, so we pay him a stipend to basically drive out here and spend wow. spend several days a month here. You can you can donate a camper to us. That would be awesome. awesome. That would be the cool oh, thing. Yeah. That would be really you cool. You know, uh, donating campers and vehicles. I've got one guy here who walked up, uh, one Marine who walked up this driveway. He built that greenhouse out there. Wow. And uh, about four months later, he walked up the driveway with a Tupperware. No mm -hmm. car, no place to be. Oh my goodness. And uh, mm. said, "Man, I'm at the bottom. Can I yeah. come and stay here? Will you help me?" And I was like, "Yeah." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So right now he's driving my truck. He's got a job, awesome. and he's enrolled oh, in school. Oh, good. Oh, wonderful. So, That's great. You know. That's awesome. We're always awesome. forward. Yeah. So, as long as we're moving forward, you know, we might stumble. Yeah. But somebody behind you will shove you in that right. ass, basically, yeah. and push you back out there, and say, you know, 
Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah, that's right. Well, we have, um, over the past couple of weeks, we've announced on, on our page, uh, well, on our channel, we've announced that uh, we've expanded. We used to take 10% of everything we earned on, on Patreon and donate to veterans. We've expanded that across all of our platforms. So yeah. everything we make on YouTube, Amazon, Patreon, um, wag Wayward Wag Swag Store that just opened a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Everything we make, 10% is going to go to veterans in need. Cool. Now, we just started making money a couple of months ago. Yeah. Awesome. So it's only been like two months that our channel has been monetized. We've been making a little bit of money on YouTube. And we've been uh, we made a little bit, just a little bit on Amazon and a little yeah. bit on Patreon. But together, right. over the past couple of months that oh, we've okay. actually started to make money, oh, that's cool. we've made yeah. around... 300 bucks, which ain't yeah. much, right? But I mean, when you when you talk about how it's gonna grow, yeah, you know, yeah. we want to donate some yeah. of that money to, to veterans. And 10% yeah. once it gets once it gets up there, 10% is gonna be a good amount. For now, it's not that not yeah. a whole lot. Yeah, but we're gonna break the rules this week. <laughs> but it's a plan because he's a yeah. rule breaker. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna break the rules. <laughs> so we've earned around 300 dollars. And since you're the first veteran organization that we have visited and we're starting this new video series called RVing for Vets. So every time we go out on the road and visit a new place, uh, we'll, we'll help out uh, either monetarily or volunteer. Yeah. But we wanted to take everything that we've earned so far, $300, and we're going to donate, donate it to oh, man. the Waypoint Ranch. So really? I have a check yeah, for you. Yeah. Oh, you're so and sneaky, it's, the first, it's the first check with the Wayward Wags <laughs> logo <laughs> on it. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it. I, I love your little scout yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, hopefully this $300 so will cool. go toward something that you just talked about and can help you out. Yeah. Yeah. So we broke the rules, but from, from now on, 10% yeah. of everything we earn is, is going to go to the veterans cool. somewhere. But, and um, we hated that we're so far, especially yeah. when we were in Fort Mitchell, we were even yeah. further away. So coming yeah. out here is cool. Plus we have so a personal tie to this place. Well, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of investment in what has been happening yeah. here. And I can't I wait till when we circle yeah, no around problem. in our trips. We're happy to do it. When we get to come back and <laughs> visit again, how much it'll change yeah. in that time too. Yeah. So something that we also do at the end of every one of our videos is we honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday at the end of our videos, we honor a fallen hero. And normally we honor heroes that uh, have fallen in combat, but not all heroes fall in combat. No. Some heroes fall stateside and in training. And we were talking earlier and you were telling us about a hero that lost his life in training. So we're going to honor him today. Can you tell us a little bit more about this yeah. hero? So um, I'd like to honor uh, uh, Andrew Amesbury, Army Ranger, um, who uh, we talked about many, many times upstairs in this apartment because his best friend, um, Jordan DeBaker, another Army Ranger, resided here for a year and a half. And he, uh, he's now got an apartment and a new job and That's he's, awesome. you know, thriving. And um, that was his best friend. So his flag flies out in the arena. I'm sure you got a picture of it. Yeah, I did. And, and, and uh, Andrew lost his life in a training event. Training accident, a live fire training accident. Yeah. But he had been deployed in the past and he had done some, some, some combat time, stuff like that. So um, anyway. Not all heroes die in combat, so right. and this is the first one, the one that we have uh, honored that has not fallen in combat, but we wanted to do something a little different. So mm -hmm. We're doing a bunch of little things different for this episode than we <laughs> yeah. do in any other yeah. episode. Break all those yeah. rules. Yeah. We're, breaking all, we're breaking all the rules. Love it. But yeah. Um, yeah. it's our pleasure and our yeah. honor to, to be here with you and to see this place and see how much it's grown. And man, we just can't thank you enough for what you're doing in the community to help veterans. <laughs> And it's our pleasure and our yeah. honor to, to honor that, that fallen hero. I want to add, we sat yeah. around this table last night and talked about, uh, let's see, there was an Army sniper, a Marine, you know, Ray, Air Force guy, and myself, and Ernie, Vietnam veteran, mm -hmm. ham radio operator extraordinaire. Yeah. Oh. And, um, you know, we are going to have this interview today. And yeah. so I said, hey, throw, start throwing out some things here that matter to you about being here. And the first one was good advice, yeah. good food, eating together, <laughs> yeah. the food again. and the horses, <laughs> yeah. right, mm -hmm. and camaraderie. And yeah. then yeah. Daniel added, you know, it was like it's like it was back when we were all deployed. Yeah, yeah, that and that's impre important. And mm -hmm. as bad as things are in a deployed environment, it's some of your best memories that you ever have, and some of the best times that yeah. you ever have. It's hard to explain that to people. Like some of the best times I ever had was when I was in Iraq getting shot at. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I had my friends. Yeah, and we all and it mattered. risked our lives yeah. together. And it mattered. Yeah, and when you yeah. come back to the, at the end of the day, and yeah. you appreciate being alive. Right. Yeah, that's a good story. 
Well, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us, yeah, Stephanie. We appreciate you. it. And uh, man, this place is awesome. Thank we you. hope you guys liked it. We'll leave links to everything in the description and on our website so that you guys can go out there and donate if you want to. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>